Hello and welcome to my yoga for a deep stretch class. Today all of the yoga poses will be done seated. So it's very important to have a nice position while seated. So you may need to use some props. So you can either use some small yoga blocks, a little pillow, or if you have a flat yoga block, you can use a flat yoga block. So I'll demonstrate on how to improve your posture while seated. First of all, so I'll just move these blocks out of the way and turn to the side so it's easier to see. So we'd like the spine to be nice and tall, but often we round the back just from tight muscles. So if you half sit on either the flat block or the pillow, it helps push the hips forward and helps to improve your posture. I'll demonstrate also with the pillow so quite often we lean back or we round the back. So half sit on it, not completely, and it helps push the hips forward and we can sit up nice and tall. So for any of the yoga poses that we do today, you prefer to sit on a pillow or a block, feel free to do so. Or you may want to use on, sit on two blocks to bring yourself a little bit higher. So start in cobbler's pose. So interlacing the fingers around the toes, the knees bent out to the side, spine nice and tall. Just pausing here, taking a few slow breaths, breathing in and out through the nose. Just observing how this stretch is. Slightly move out the feet to come into diamond posture, checking that the feet are at least two hand lengths away. Now take a breath in, arch the back, and as you exhale, round the back into a variation of cat. Now inhale, arch the back, lift the chest, looking up, and exhale gently around the back, around the shoulders. One more time, inhale, arch the back, drawing the shoulders down, and exhale, really exaggerating the moves. We'll inhale into a neutral position in the center. You can use your blocks to rest on if you prefer. There's different heights you can bring your elbows onto the blocks can change them to different heights or if you prefer not to use the block you can just round the back so inhaling and as you exhale very gently lowering first from the abdomen and then round the upper back you can also use the block to rest your forehead on if you prefer or we'll pause here for a few breaths so observing where you feel the stretch on the inside of the legs you may feel a stretch somewhere along the back Try and slow down the breathing, inhaling and exhaling through the nose, really try and expand the breath into the back of the lungs, encouraging the back to soften and relax with the breath. Inhaling and exhaling just through the nose if you can. And the longer that you're in the posture, just observe if the body starts to soften and to relax, or are you ready to come out of the posture? So just one or two more slow breaths. On your next breath, in supporting the weight of the body around the back, walk your hands close towards you and slowly come up. We'll relax the shoulders down the back a few times, just for a moment, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. So support the outside of the knees, draw the legs in, and we'll straighten the right leg. Check that the heel is on the mat just to relax the heel. If you prefer to sit on the flat block or a pillow you can sit on it now pointing the toes of your straight leg up towards the ceiling pushing down the hip of the right hip we'll take a breath in and as you exhale try and lower the weight of the body into the center really concentrate you may just want to stay here you may prefer to rest on a block or on the elbows so focus on not allowing the right hip to lift off of the ground. So really concentrate on pushing the right hip, which is the hip of your straight leg, down into the ground. Just pausing here, relaxing the shoulders. Concentrate on your breathing. Again, take two or three slow breaths in your own time. Really try and expand the lungs in all directions. Relax the muscles in the face. Now observe where you feel this stretch. You feel it on the inside of the leg. You may feel it around your hips, somewhere on the back. As you inhale, slowly come back up, very gently moving the blocks out of the way if you need to. 
bring the hands either side of the straight leg spine nice and tall, take a breath in. On your exhale, walk the hands away and again listen to your own body. You can stop at any stage that feels comfortable and you can use the blocks or some pillows to rest your elbows on if you feel more comfortable. And then pausing for a few breaths here. So really try and expand the lungs in all directions. Noticing how the stretch has changed from this side to the other position that we've previously practiced. Now on your next breath in, very slowly going to start to come back up. So walking the hands back towards you, rounding the back, slowly coming up. Bring your right hand on the inside of the leg, your left hand onto your bent knee. Twist in to look at your bent knee. Inhale, stretch the hand up and over opening the side of the body so we're working towards touching the toes so it isn't important that you touch the toes but we're gently stretching in that direction and trying to look under the arm towards the ceiling stretching the left side of the torso breathing in and out nice slow breaths now observe out of the three positions which you prefer Now on your next breath in, very slowly starting to come up. Very gently, taking your time, we'll bring the right hand across the body onto the bent knee, left hand behind the back, we'll inhale the spine nice and tall and exhale, twisting to look wherever feels comfortable behind you. Just pausing for a moment, relaxing the shoulders down the back. Inhaling and exhaling. Next breath in, gently come to the center. We'll support the underneath of the straight leg, draw the leg in. We'll come back one more time into cobbler's pose. So interlacing our fingers around the toes, gently butterflying the knees, lifting them up and down very softly. Spine nice and tall. Take a breath in and as you exhale, trying to lower from the abdomen. And just pause, observing where you feel the stretch here, allowing the head to relax down. Observing the difference between this pose and diamond pose. Never to criticize the body, but to draw your attention into the present moment, to allow thoughts and conversations to pass by. Just one or two more slow breaths. Now as you inhale, slowly round the back, slowly come all the way up. Last thing to come up is your head moving everything out of the way. He's going to straighten now the left leg, so support the outside of the knees. First we'll rock the knees from side to side just to relax the legs, and then we'll straighten the left legs, toes pointing up to the ceiling, pushing the left hip down into the ground. Spine nice and tall, we'll take a breath in, and as you exhale when you're ready, you can stay here if you prefer. If you like, you can just walk your hands very slightly away, only going as deep as feels comfortable today. So remember each day is different and each side of the body is different from one side to the other. And then just pausing here. Maybe close the eyes, take a few slow breaths. Observe any differences from the side of the body to the other. Can you feel the stretch in a different place? Is it a stronger or a more relaxing stretch? and then slow down the breath. Just one or two more breaths in this pose. Now on your next breath and very slowly around the back, start to walk the hands back towards you, supporting the weight of the body, gently come up. Bring the hands either side of the straight leg, take a breath in, and as you exhale again, lowering from the abdomen, walking the hands to wherever feels comfortable. And pausing here. So it's good to draw attention to differences from one side of the body to the other. So not to criticize the body, but just focusing on the present moment, bringing your attention to the physical body and allowing worries and stress to gently pass by. Just one or two more breaths in this pose. Keep slowing down the breath. Now on your next breath in, round the back, walk the hands back towards you, slowly come up. 
Bring the left hand on the inside of the leg, right hand on the bent knee, twist towards the bent knee. Inhale, raise the arm up, stretch up. You can pause here, you can lower slightly, or we can work towards touching the toes. But remember, when we're twisting the torso up towards the ceiling and looking under the arm towards the ceiling. Now stretching the whole of the right side of the torso, observing any differences as you're deepening the breath from this side to the other side. One more slow breath and slowly coming up. We'll bring the left hand across the body onto the right knee, the right hand behind you sitting up nice and tall and as you exhale, come into a spinal twist just for one or two breaths, keeping the shoulders relaxed, the face relaxed. Next breath in, very gently, start to make your way towards the center. So put the underside of your left knee, draw the leg in to one more time to come to cobbler's posture, interlacing the fingers, or butterfly the knees just to relax the knees, relax the inside of the legs. This time we're going to use the elbows either on the inside of the thighs or the inside of the calves, whatever feels comfortable to have a deeper stretch or we'll take a breath in. And as you exhale, very, very subtly, encouraging the legs towards the mat. So this is an unusual posture which you may not practice every day. So only listening to your own body. Going very, very gently into this pose. Only deepening when it feels comfortable. Inhaling and exhaling always gently through the nose. Use the breath to encourage the muscles to soften and to relax. Just one or two more breaths in this pose. Next breath and slowly round the back, gently come all the way up. Relax the shoulders a few times, taking your time. And then we'll support the outside of the knees, draw the legs in, straighten the legs, walk out the legs, or you can give the legs a little wobble, whatever feels comfortable, just to relax the muscles. And then we'll open the legs into straddle pose. So checking that your heels are on the mat, just because it gives them a bit more of a support. Bring the hands either side of the hips, trying to sit up nice and tall to start with, just observing here. So this may be enough for you today, just stretching the legs as you are. If you'd like to sit on a pillow, make sure that you feel comfortable. You can pause if you need to, to give you time to sit on a pillow. You may like to bring a block in front and lower, or two blocks and lower your elbows onto the block. You can pause here for a few breaths. So always listening to what feels good for you today. You can lower your elbows. So the more you practice the stretch routine, the more you'll notice the body opens and relaxes with time and patience. So we should never feel any pain or strain in any of the postures. Keep slowing down the breath, one or two more breaths. Inhaling, exhaling through the nose. On your next breath and gently come up, walk your hands back towards you nice and slowly. Support the underneath of the knees, draw the legs in. And then we'll gently rock the knees from side to side, very gently. Just relaxing the inside of the legs, relaxing the hips. Just pausing. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. So because we've done quite a few forward folds, we're just coming to some cat cows to relax the back. So wobbling the legs, and then we'll bring the legs when you're ready to one side. Come up onto your knees into hero's pose. I'll turn to the side so you can see me better. So we'll bring the hands just resting on the thighs. We'll inhale when you're ready, lift the chest, chin, look towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, very gently draw in the abdomen, really round the back, so really exaggerating the moves. Inhale again, lift the chest, chin, draw the shoulders down and back and exhale gently round. Again we'll inhale, lift the chest, chin look up towards the ceiling and exhale very gently round. So relax the shoulders a couple of times, 
small little circles to prepare for our last pose, camel's pose. So coming up onto the knees, if you have sensitive knees, you can fold your mat over just as I am and rest your knees onto the mat for a bit more support. If you don't need any support or if you're working on a carpet, you can just keep the mat as it is. So the knees just under the hips are slightly apart. We can use either a pillow or a block, whatever feels comfortable between the legs to encourage you to squeeze the legs together. Tucking under the toes, the fingertips pointing down towards the floor. We're pushing the hips forward and squeezing the legs together. So there's three different stages. So the first stage is inhaling, just lifting the head, looking up to the ceiling. So this may be enough for you today, pausing for a few breaths. And then when you're ready, slowly coming out. The second stage, pushing the hips forward, squeezing the legs. So inhale, lift the head and gently lower again to wherever feels comfortable. Most important thing is keep breathing. Next breath and slowly coming up. And if you'd like to work a little bit deeper and only if it feels comfortable, we'll inhale when you're ready, lift the chest chin looking up, squeeze the hips together, push the hips forward, we'll take hold of the ankles and pause. You can lower the feet flat on the ground only if it feels comfortable in the lower back. Most important thing to keep breathing, inhaling and exhaling. into camel's pose. Next breath and slowly coming up, bring the hands back onto the hips, gently remove the block, come down into child's pose just to relax the back in the other direction. So lowering the forehead towards the ground, the arms by the side of the body. Just pausing here, allowing the back to rest in a neutral position. So this is the end of the yoga class today. So if you have more time, I'd recommend listening to a guided meditation to sit and relax if you have the time or you can finish just here. So whichever you prefer, we'll come out of this posture. So when you're ready, bring the hands in front of the knees. On your inhale, push into the ground, slowly come back up. Find a comfortable position either sitting on a pillow, sitting on the floor, spine nice and tall. So always take a moment to thank yourself for dedicating time to you and your own health and well-being. Observing how you feel now. So when you're ready, we'll bring the hands together in front of the heart. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you again. Goodbye.